Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you're new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you do, make sure that you introduce yourself in the comments all the way at the bottom so that I can get to know you. So today is day two of Clean Week, and today I'm going to be bringing you 10 Awesome Cleaning Hacks Part 2. If you are newer to my channel, then you might not remember, but 10 Awesome Cleaning Hacks was one of my very first videos, and to this day, it is one of my absolute favorite because it is just so useful. So I'm going to be linking it up in the cards and in the description box if you missed it. And also, please don't forget that this is a week-long collaboration with my friend Heather McCarthy. She is doing a different video, so I am going to be running over to her channel ASAP to see what she has going on today. I hope you will too. Of course, her link is in the description box along with our week-long Clean Week playlist. So to get started, I want to share with you my stair basket. And if you have a multi-level home, you know there is always stuff downstairs that needs to go back upstairs. And it can take a lot of time to go up and down the stairs carrying everything. So I found this basket on Amazon and I absolutely love how it fits so perfectly in the stairs. And as you're cleaning and tidying up your house throughout the day, you can just throw everything in the basket that needs to go upstairs. And when you're all done for the day, just bring it up and go room to room putting everything away. So next I'm sharing with you an easy way to clean your baseboards and a couple times a year I do give them a good wipe down but most of the time they just need a quick dusting. So what I'm doing here is attaching a microfiber cloth to the end of a broom and securing it with an elastic. You can spray a little bit of pledge or all purpose spray on there and then you can use the broom to easily wipe the dust off your baseboards and it's so easy on your back. Okay, now you might be wondering what the heck I'm going to do with these coffee filters, but these are actually a great, inexpensive way to clean your electronic devices. So things like paper towels or some cloths can leave behind lint and residue, but using these coffee filters are a great, great way to get rid of all the dust and clean your electronics safely. So next I'm going to be sharing with you a really neat way to clean an oddly shaped object. So I am going to be cleaning the leftover wine out of my decanter and yes, I know what you're thinking, Carolyn, what the heck is leftover wine? I know, I know, sometimes it happens. So what I'm going to do is just add some hot soapy water and some rice into it. And using the rice is going to give you that little bit of abrasion that you need to get your object really clean. And then once it's all cleaned, you just have to rinse it out and let it dry. So if you're like me and immediately after cleaning your faucets they seem to be covered with water spots again, then you'll definitely want to give this trick a try. All you need is some wax paper and you just rub it on your faucets and it not only can help remove those water stains, but it also helps repel water so it will help prevent them in the future. Let me waste your time. 
If you are planning on doing a lot of cleaning throughout your entire house, something that would be really handy to invest in is one of these cleaning caddies. I got this one on Amazon and it is huge and I love it because it fits all the products that I could possibly need. I throw in my all-purpose spray, my glass cleaner, furniture polish, dusters, microfiber cloths, you name it, it all is going to fit in here. And then I can just bring it room to room and it is so simple and convenient. I have all the products that I need and I don't need to go around searching for them. So if you saw my spring cleaning series, then you are already familiar with this hack, and that is to use a pillowcase to dust your ceiling fans. A pillowcase is the perfect thing to use because if there's any dust that goes flying, it's going to fall into the pillowcase instead of on your bed or on the floor. All right, so this hack I learned from the Clean My Space YouTube channel and I have been using it for a really long time. And when you are wiping down a surface, you wanna use this S-shaped pattern. That way you only need to wipe the surface once and you ensure that you don't miss any spots. Wiping it in a circular pattern ends up taking you a lot more time because you're cleaning the same areas over and over and over. So if you are only going to pay attention to one hack out of this entire video, then this has got to be it. I learned this from my YouTube bestie, Yovi. Her channel is Yovi's Home. Make sure you check it out. And what she does and what I now do is clean your refrigerator right before you get your groceries, right before you go grocery shopping or have them delivered is when your fridge is the most empty. So it is really easy to just pull everything out and give it a quick wipe down. Make me lose my game when you call my name. I go crazy cause I can't escape when you call my name, when you call my name. All right, we are on our very last hack and I know that all you ladies will relate to this struggle. Having your hair wrapped around your vacuum and having to rip it out in order to get your vacuum to work properly. So you are not gonna have to worry about that anymore. All you need is one of these. This is a seam ripper that I got on Amazon for $4 and it works so good. Seriously, I was able to rip all of that hair out so quickly, it took under a minute. Okay, I wanna thank everyone so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I have another video 10 more cleaning hacks that I will be linking down in the description box. Also, don't forget to head over to Heather's channel, my week-long collaboration partner to see what she is up to today. And we are both going to be back tomorrow with a brand new cleaning video. So make sure that you are subscribed and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave. I am gonna see you tomorrow. Bye.